Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about the BQEYZ Winter. So for those of you who have held a BQY, BQEYZ set before, you know that their metal builds are actually very, very nice. And this one is no different. The design is great. Nice green accent on this version. Two pin is uh, kind of slightly sunk in there, but not really. That's a, a almost a flush two pin. The nozzle, you can kind of actually see it almost right there into the driver. So you sort of know this one has a very, very light mesh on it, not a whole lot of dampening going on on the nozzle itself. And what's actually unique about Winter is right there, that triangular little port there, which is the bone conduction uh, port window, which is how it's going to transmit uh, sound from your ear, from the shell, right into your ear. This one does, it says it actually travels through air as well, but uh, I think it does need to be very, very close to your ear. You do get a nice silver gunmetal looking cable for core, which is actually very nice. Very, very nice looking cable. On the tips, again, you will sort of notice that uh, when you're just looking at them, they're, they're a bit short. And I think that is intentional for the bone conduction. This one does need to sit quite far into your ear in order for the bone conduction to work. And I think they actually gave you a set of tips that uh, to accomplish that. And then they give you a set of foam, which probably do not accomplish that. And I did not use the foam, but they do give you those as well. You do get a nice little BQEYZ case as well. And the box itself is uh, kind of pretty traditional for them. And it's got some numbers on the back. So we'll kind of jump into it with the graph. And, and I will say, like I said, that what's actually special about winter is really not captured on the graph and that's the bone conduction so this is sort of what is coming out of the nozzle not including the bone conduction piece of it and if this was just a dynamic driver you would say oh it's actually a pretty nice neutral warmish there's actually a pretty nice rise here at 200 a very easy pin again and then it kind of slowly uh, trails off rolls off into um, a well-extended treble and there's some really nice air out there Sort of what it sounds like, even with the bone conduction, it almost sounds like that as well, but it's just a little more elevated over here with the bone conduction. I don't know where it starts, but it, they call it the mid and the upper range are actually boosted with a little bone conduction uh, from that driver. So we won't talk a ton about the graph because it doesn't capture everything and it doesn't necessarily sound uh, like that as well. But I do think uh, the name is actually pretty appropriate. I think out of the box, if you plug this one into a neutral bright source, you end up with something that is winter-like, a little colder, a little sharper, um, a little clear, kind of that clear, sharp, fast, neutral bright, balance shifted to the right. So it's definitely an upper range kind of set. The base is meant to be more like neutral. That is why I said it's neutral bright. But I think the real important bit of it is actually number two. And number two for me was almost everything. I do like this set a lot, but I also realize that you have to get a few things to align with your sources and your tips and your ears for you to enjoy it you know, in an optimal way. And some of those things are wild cards, and it's just not going to work for everyone. But we'll talk about it. So I do think the fit is super important due to that high frequency bone conduction. It's got to fit. It's got to be super, super close to your ear. If it's not hitting your ear, it's got to be super close to it. On top of that, you have this neutral base level. So if the fit is slightly off and this wing is you know, not quite sitting in your ear right, that's going to cause this to sit out a little bit. It's actually a shallow fit that needs to fit a little deeper into your ear, which is a, a hard combination. That's why I say... The fit is a bit of a wild card whether this is actually going to work for you. So this little bit right here needs to sit on your ear, but this needs to be you know, inserted deep enough into your ear to hear all the bass. Otherwise, you end up with something that's a little less than neutral and a little more, you know, potentially a little more shouty and a little more intense. And some people are just anti-wing and it's not going to fit with their ears at all. Second, the source is super important on this one. I plugged it in to my topping and a neutral source will be a bit uh, lean and colder and a hair brighter. It's just more intense. And you'll see that in quite a few reviews. I think this one came across as 
a, a bit treble intense, and that's not not all that shocking because it it absorbs your source like a sponge. So give it a warmer source, and it sounds warmer, which is no surprise. But you get great detail, and it almost sounds like a grass, but there's just layer of detail above it, and it sounds like a hybrid in the way it should, and that's exactly how I loved it. So a source like this, so this is FI's Go Blue. This has that burr brown sound to it without the burr brown chips, but it's that more relaxed yet detailed, smoother sound. It's a bit warmer, it's a bit colored, and that actually pairs very well with this kind of leaner, colder sound that you get. And just to warm that up a little bit and carry a little bit of that warmth right into your mids and then have this bone conduction layer above it that's adding that detail and that sharpness and that hybrid sound to it. That's what I loved about this set. And I love that when those two work together, just having a slightly warm underneath and a very sharp, almost BA-like uh, technicalities right above it, that's what uh, really caught me on, on winter. And again, the price isn't going to work for everyone. It's a bit pricey. It's a nice build and it's a unique hybrid, but that does come with a over $200 cost. So that is something to consider as well. So does the bone conduction work or add anything? And I, and I will say it does. I think it's actually done very well. I think BQEYZ has done a couple of piezos, which didn't really work for me a lot well. And this one works very, very well. And I don't know if it's just the way they did this transmission through air version of it, or they actually changed how it worked, or it's a totally different system. Um, anyway, whatever it is, this one actually sounds like a cohesive hybrid sound to me. But again, like it's super important to get that deep fit uh, on a shallow fit shell to hear that bone conduction. It adds this very cool layer around the mids and the upper range. And that's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like if you actually put tips in, like the foam tips that are slowly outside of your ear and you hear it without the um, the bone conduction, it, it sounds like a very sterile, no air version of, of winter. Um, it's a bit more intense and it's a bit sharper, but it's really missing that that sense of air and reverb and, and all these other things that, that are actually provided over that driver. So like I said, if your tips extend too far and the shell doesn't hit your ear, or get close enough to your ear, it sounds super clean, but really flat. There's no air, there's no reverb, it's just very sterile. So yes, I do think it actually works, and I think it actually works very well, and I actually like it quite a bit. So the sound, I think I would call this one neutral bright, done right. And again, um, depending on your source, is really how far it goes into neutral, or non-neutral, or warm. It's going to um, sway that either way. And I, and I actually prefer it a little warmer than, than pure neutral bright. But I would say the treble isn't as spicy as some people said it was. But it is at an elevated level, and you have to do be aware of that. If you are treble sensitive, it probably will come across as as a little spicy. But I would call it, there's, there's just this even brightness and extension. So there's no bright spot. It's not really peaky. And I think the bone conduction really worked there because that's what the marketing said. But I do think in my ear and hearing how the, the treble works and when you raise the volume, I, I do think it actually works. What I really noticed is, is this little bit. So I would say it comes across a little bit forward, but I wouldn't say that this these actually necessarily sound super peaky. I would just say that this is a bit forward. And as you raise volume, this comes a little bit more forward than uh, I would like it, but it's uh, it actually works out pretty good. So the bass, again, like I said, this one is where the source matters a lot. It can go from that slightly under neutral to warmish. And I think it's actually pretty good in both cases, but it's just more musical um, with slight warmth, which carries into your mids, which sits right below the bone conduction layer that's a little sharper, a little faster, like a BA. And I think those two working in combination is that hybrid sound that I prefer. And this one does very, very well. So it just gives you that, you know, carry some warmth into the mids, less spicy, a smoother sound. With a more neutral source like my topping, you know, it sounds very U-shaped. There's almost no warmth carried into your mids. So they end up being super clean, uh, very clean on the mids. And it's okay, but then when you combine that with the bone conduction, more treble level, I think it does become a little bit more intense. And I think that is where people kind of caught that spiciness in the treble. But it is somewhat unique how it really moves from both sounds. And, and it's also hard to find the perfect level of your source and the bass level and how much warmth is carried into it. 
there's only you know you only have so many sources and you have to real i think you do have to really match the source with the tips to control that base level so it sounds great to you but it carries in enough warmth to really smooth it out so it's not as intense but in any case you you're only dealing with a 5 db base shelf so do be aware of that that's going to work for some people that's going to work for some genres it's not going to work for others but it's kind of right there on that on that neutral line for me. So the mids, like I was just talking about, it does sound like a hybrid. You get a very nice dynamic driver, lower bass sound, and above that is this layer of technicality, which is almost presented like a balanced armature without the balanced armature uh, timbre. So these clean, transparent, detailed, sharp, spacious pinpoint imaging, clarity and speed, you know, these are a lot of descriptors from what hybrids with balanced armatures would sound like. And and for me, that's what this one comes across like. It's very, very well done. Where it's, This is actually where you start to notice that gap between Winter as a dynamic driver and a hybrid, right? Other dynamic driver sets that they've done in the past, where they even had piezos that didn't quite sound like hybrids winter is the first one that i've tried from them that actually literally sounds like a hybrid and is done very very well so that lower will slant leaner with a without a warmer source like i was saying if you have a more neutral source that lower bit's going to sound just a little bit more leaner but you're going to get a very very clean mids but again the upper you know that upper is just more forward and energetic in either case so like i was just saying about it so even if you take this down a little bit, so if it sounds like a little more neutral, this is still kind of right there and it comes up a little bit early. So I do prefer this to be to sound almost like a graph. So it balances this out a little bit and it just softens this a little bit. But no matter what your source is, you're going at some point you're going to hit a volume, which is this that's going to bring that just a little bit more forward. And that's what it's going to sound like. So I wouldn't say not necessarily shouty or peaky, but just a bit more too, too forward. But for a neutral bright set, it can handle many genres, which is actually pretty rare. And I think this one actually does a very good job at handling lots of genres considering its signature. And I do think it's a rare combo of really pushing the tuning to the edge. They sort of brought it right there to the edge of shouty and spicy and and maybe too much trouble, a bit too intense. They really brought it to the edge, but the drivers execute it well. You know, I never really felt uh, any peakiness or really overly fatigued i definitely pushed the volume up too far on it and it, it lets you know and you go back one notch and, and then everything is great again but yeah they, they did a really good job of really pushing the technicalities on a set that was a big dynamic driver and a other driver a bone conduction driver which i'm not sure they've really used before but the two work very very well together so the trouble like I said, that upper mid-range, it does pop up nicely. It's At least on the graph, it looks pretty relaxed. With the bone conduction, it's going to be a little more. But it does catch those female vocals very well. And then the treble, the treble arcs over into great extension, providing that great detail. So like I said, the whole, the whole treble bit from the upper mids to the treble, it is, at a, it is a fun treble set. It's at a level that is slightly elevated, so, you know, really not for people who are treble shy, but for people who are really into it. Um, I think it is for the treble fans, and I think it actually is well done. There's just not many other sets that sound like it. It sounds, you know, Source will play a little bit of it, but I do think it, it sounds a lot like a, a balanced armature, but not quite a Knowles, which has a little more timbre and not quite a Sony on It's somewhere in between the two. It's uh, kind of unique for me to hear. But for a for a hybrid, you know, again, I think the source does take play a part of it. It will take it a little brighter and a little darker. But for a hybrid set, you know, and having it tried a few of their BQEYZ sets, I think this is the best example of their dynamic driver and bone conduction piezo execution that I've heard. And I haven't heard a ton of them, but this is the only one that really struck me as a very well done hybrid, detailed, elevated. You know, BA like speed without BA timbre. Sibilance, I do think that varied a lot with your source and your fit and your volume. I noticed it more on volume than on source and fit personally, but that's just me. So, stage being slightly bright, clean, open, spacious around the head stage, right? 
a lot of what you're expecting to hear on the stage from such a signature and with a neutral bright actually comes across very well on this one. Lots of treble, lots of height, lots of space, lots of great imaging because you don't have a ton of mid bass clouding up that stage and the imaging. Lots of details come through. You know, it's that rare combination of that clean bass level, tons of separation, that speed from the bone conduction and that treble level opening up the space, right? Everything comes together into a great stage, great imaging, very well done here in the mids. You know, everything is, the recipe for success was there and it's actually executed very well here. So that's what I got on winter. So thank you guys again for tuning in and I'll see you next time.